so my name is Madeline Gabriel and I've never made a YouTube video before I just made my channel and so I don't really know how to go about this I've never talked into a camera before so this is probably gonna be super awkward but I will just start talking about what this video is about so it's not a 30 minute long video but um I recently just made a health and fitness account and it's called at underscore mad health and my one of my best friends Crystal Kim made that name I did not make that up and I just wanted to kind of share like a background story about how I got into health and fitness because I didn't just like leisurely walk into health and fitness and I kind of also wanted to make this video because I don't want people who follow me to think that like looking from the outside in oh wow she has such a perfect life she just can do health and fitness so easily without any like struggles or it's just so easy for her so I'm making this video to explain like my background story just to kind of give them more insight into like who I actually am and like there are more parts of me than what's shown on my Instagram and I feel like it's only fair to express that and show that to other people so I just feel like it's something that I should do and something that people should know like if they're following me and maybe you don't want to watch this video if you don't want to watch it like that's fine I totally get it this is just for people who are curious and interested um but yeah I'm gonna try not to make it too long because I talk a lot but okay so I will just get straight to it so in eighth grade well okay I've kind of always been interested in health and fitness and very like intrigued by it all and like intrigued by like what our bodies can do and like how our body reacts differently to certain types of food exercise etc and so during middle school I would say eighth grade and I can't remember like super detailed things like my exact age or stuff like that just because this was a pretty long time ago and I just never really go back to this like my past this part of my past at least um so in eighth grade I was a cheerleader and me and all my friends were cheerleaders and um so I would just I think for me I hit puberty a little bit earlier than most of my friends so like naturally I was a little bit bigger I guess more filled out had more curves I guess but um I was never fat or overweight I guess you could say I was never I didn't really ever have a problem with my weight being too heavy for my age or my height or anything like that but um in eighth grade whenever I had hit puberty earlier and all my friends hadn't hit it yet they're naturally going to be smaller so I like probably mid eighth grade I began to notice like I was comparing myself with all my friends all these girls on Instagram and I would like at school I would be like looking down at my thighs next to my friends if we were sitting down and I would be like oh my gosh like mine are so much bigger than hers like like that, that does not look good at all and I just was like very like mentally not educated I guess you could say and I didn't understand that like I got my period before a lot of my friends and like I didn't I guess I just didn't get the fact that like that would fill out more and just develop earlier and so it really bothered me a lot that I looked bigger than my friends so to kind of summarize this and like not go into full detail because if I go into full detail this will be like 
way too long of a video it already is probably gonna be a little bit too long but um so I started to I thought to myself I was like I want to be skinnier I want to be as tiny as my friends so I look normal and I look prettier and that's just kind of the mindset that I had so I began to learn more research more about I don't even know if you would call it health and fitness because it really wasn't I I just started to look more into I guess food and focusing more on like calories and I began to like research more about that and just like all my mindset was after I had like researched and read stuff about nutrition and calories and weight gain and weight loss etc and I just kind of got the mindset that like calories were bad and like the more calories you had the more weight you gained which to an extent like yeah that's true but I thought calories were everything and I mean once again to an extent that can be true but me personally like I don't right now I don't count calories I don't count macros I just like eat intuitively that's all but and I know some people do count calories and count their macros and I totally support that if like some people love doing that and I think if you love doing that then you definitely should keep doing that but um not just for me like I just didn't I just don't do that I just intuitively eat and so um I began to count calories and I began to research the calories of all different types of foods and I basically was doing like I would compare like cookies that were 120 calories to a banana that was like that many calories or more or whatever and I thought like I was like oh like naturally the cookies are healthier because they're less calories and I wasn't looking at like the nutrient density of like the cookies versus the banana and and that's just an example but like I wasn't looking at the nutrition part of food I was solely looking at the amount of calories that it had so I began to eat foods fewer in calories with that being said like fewer in calories also fewer nutrients and obviously my goal was to lose weight and I did just that with time I slowly began to start losing weight and becoming thinner and thinner and thinner and I was like super excited it almost became like an addiction where I would like step on the scale in the morning see the number like one less and I was like ecstatic and I was just like wow this is so great and for me I think it was a sense of like control that I had you feel just super in control of like as an eighth grader you're not going to be in control of that much I guess so I felt really empowered to be able to control my weight control the food that went into my body I just thought that was really like exciting so I slowly kept losing weight and I would gradually like decrease my the amount of calories I was taking in a day and it eventually got to the point where I was taking in like 500 calories a day eventually and I was the pounds started shedding more and more and more and I just became thinner and thinner and my clothes were getting baggy on me I not only had physical effects but I had mental like internal effects I was had zero energy I would like climb up my stairs at my house and by the time I got to the top I was out of breath I was felt lightheaded I felt dizzy I felt like I was about to faint and physical effects I mean I was obviously thinner there my mom one day had taken a picture of me from the back I was wearing a bikini and I didn't know that she was taking a picture but she took a picture of my back and you can just see like my bones like my spine was just it just didn't look good or healthy at least for my height and like my natural weight and and I've always been taller right now I'm 5'7 but I think in eighth grade I was maybe 5'5 five five or 5'6 so I mean I was already 
taller than a lot of my friends. So naturally, for my own body, I was going to weigh more. And um, so yeah, my bones were just like sticking out. It just didn't look natural or healthy for me at all. And I eventually lost my period and that didn't really scare me. I was like almost okay with it. I was like, oh, I'm not having a period. Like that's awesome. And not true. It's not awesome. But um, so um, eventually my parents did start to become like really concerned because I really got to such a low weight for my me as a person and like my body like that weight was just not healthy I mean it was low enough for me to lose my period and um so they became really worried and they they got, signed me up for a like dietitian nutritionist like therapy kind of thing and I totally was like not for that. I was like, this is crazy. Like, I'm fine. I'm just wanting to be skinnier. Like, I just wanted to lose some weight. Like, I'm not going to lose any more weight because I got to a really, really, really low weight. And I told my parents, I was like, like, I'm not going to lose any more weight. And they were like, okay, if you can maintain your weight and like maybe gain a few pounds, like you won't have to go to the therapist. And so they would weigh me like every week and one week they weighed me and I kept like I just dropped like an insane amount of weight and they were like okay no like you need help and I remember it took me a really 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 long time to actually like accept the fact that I had a problem and like tell myself like hey like you have a problem I did not think I had a problem at all so I went to the therapist and she asked me a bunch of questions. I filled out a bunch of papers and the papers were just asking questions like, I think, I honestly, like, I don't remember. I really, really, really don't. But I think they were questions like, like, what do you think about yourself? And like, how much do you eat in a day? Just like generic questions, I guess, about like my diet and my like mental state of mind. And after filling them out and getting them looked over the therapist came back to me and she said like it's very clear that I was anorexic and I was like shocked I was like no like I'm not I'm just trying like I all I was doing was trying to lose weight like how does that make me anorexic and she explained it all to me and I remember going home and like looking a bunch of stuff up stuff up about it and I really really did not want to admit to myself like that I was that I was like there's no way like I have an eating disorder like that's not that's not me like that's not normal and so I went to I kept going to the therapist and this I'll try to sum this up but like I went to the therapist and I slowly did gain my weight back I got my period back I was pretty much I guess not back to where I started, but close, but I was, I think what kind of helped me recover from that was like realizing whenever I would eat like a good dense meal, how much life I felt like it gave me, how much energy I had, how happy it made me, like the fact that food literally is fuel and that just like, I felt so much better, I looked so much better my hair was healthy again because whenever I was at such a low weight my hair became very brittle and it's always been pretty thick but it was thin and just like kind of falling out a little bit and my ends were breaking and it was just it just had no nutrients to it at all um and so I think just the feeling that I got after eating again and like realizing that I was not healthy just kind of I don't know I know I don't like that there's no for me personally there was nothing like miraculous no miraculous cure and like I wish I could say this cured me from being anorexic but I can't 
this was so long ago that I truly don't remember exactly how I overcame it but I mean ever since I got my period back I had always still been cautious of like what I was eating I was not losing weight but I was very cautious and I was still looking at nutrition and looking at the calories just not as drastically and like not as severely as I was before okay but moving on so I was just kind of like staying steady for about a year and a half maybe but I think but I was still very cautious, like I said, and I was very aware of what I was eating and like aware of my weight. So I would not say that like I was mentally healthy because I still was not. Just because I like the thoughts I had going through my head, I was still comparing myself to girls. I was still being super cautious of what I ate. I still would feel guilty after eating like something I would consider junk food but um okay so about a year and a half later I began to develop another eating disorder and it was binge eating disorder and this came very 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 slowly but gradually I would just I remember like overeating a lot and I remember I would be eating something and just like, like, wow, this is so good and just want more and more and more and realizing like coming to a point where I was like insanely overeating, like I was not just indulging a little bit or overeating like like just uh, an occasional you overeat whatever like it's fun it was like it was I was binge eating like it gradually became a habit more and more and more and I soon realized that that was because of my previous eating disorder anorexia because I was like depriving my body so much of the nutrients that whenever I did like overeat and overindulge and binge my body was like my mind was telling me like you have to like keep eating keep eating because it was scared that it was going to not have enough food like in my past I don't know how to explain this well and I'm sorry for that because it's hard for me to like put my thoughts into words and explain things but my body had just been deprived for so long that whenever it did get so much food I wanted to just eat all of it and like just binge like crazy because um, my body just was not getting the nutrients it needed beforehand so it was trying to get all it could just in case that happened again. Not that I'm saying it would have happened again but like my body doesn't know that and so naturally it was saying like almost like for hibernation like gather food for hibernation like that's kind of what my body was doing was like trying to take in so much food because just in case it had that deprivation again so that happened over a few months for me and I mean it would just slowly turn in to like from binging like once a week to like two times a week three times a week and then it would just be like four times a week then I would go maybe like two weeks without it and then it would just start all over again and I was just going into this vicious cycle of like binge eating depriving myself getting urges and binging again like it was just a very very exhausting vicious cycle and I just could not understand like what was wrong I mean, I would not accept the fact that, again, once again, I would not accept the fact that I had a problem. But when I finally researched more about it, I told myself, I guess you have a problem. And 
I mean, I researched what binge eating disorder was and I matched every single one of the symptoms and that was very shocking to me and it was probably the most depressing thing to realize because I was like, wow, I just had, I've gone through anorexia now I'm going through an eating disorder on the total opposite end of the spectrum. So that was really tough for me to comprehend. Also because I was so, the eating disorder I had before was literally the total opposite of binge eating disorder. So, um, I probably developed binge eating disorder in my middle of my sophomore year. I think sophomore year in high school and it went on for about a year but in that year I remember so the more and more I kept binging I obviously did start to put on more weight and that was concerning to me and it was not a healthy weight and I knew that because it was weight from me overeating on things like junk food, like donuts, cookies, pasta, whatever, just like number one, it was never healthy food. It was always just like junk food, food high in sugar, high in fat, like saturated fats, like very not healthy and so I was gaining a decent amount of weight not all at once, but gradually. And I probably like six months in, seven months in, I tried to purge that one day after I binged. I did, I tried to make myself throw up and it, I couldn't do it. I don't know. And I was just getting frustrated. I was like, why can't I do this? Like I, just remember sitting on my bathroom floor like crying. I felt disgusting. I was depressed. I was just a wreck, like the biggest wreck I've ever been. And it was awful. And I kept on with binge eating and trying to purge it by over-exercising or trying to make myself throw up, but it didn't happen. I tried diet pills, I tried teas, I tried, um, yeah, I mean, those two things, I mean, laxatives, I tried that, I mean, it was awful, like, I was so unhealthy, my mental state was so unhealthy, I was so depressed, I, like, I hated my life, like, I was not happy at all, I hated my body, I hated food, but I loved food, it was a very, like, just it was so bad and I can't explain it enough but um so eventually one time I tried again to make myself throw up and I did and so from then on every time after I would binge I made myself throw up and Obviously that made me feel better because I was like, wow, okay, so I'm compensating for the food that I ate and now it's not in my body any anymore. So yeah, it got so bad and that's whenever I realized I self-diagnosed myself with bulimia. So from this point in my life, I have had anorexia, binge eating disorder, and bulimia. So... I really was so unhappy and I finally just kind of like, I was like, I need to get a grip. Like, I don't want to live like this. This is not what life is supposed to be like. I just want to be healthy. I want to be happy. I want to be confident. I want to not worry about the food that I'm eating. I just want to live life. I mean, I was in high school, like a and I mean, if this, this was over this time span of like a year. So I mean, sophomore, junior year, I that's like such a, supposed to be such a fun time in your life. And I was totally depressed and unhappy and just, it was so bad. Okay, so 
I was researching all of this stuff, going watching YouTube videos like how to overcome binge eating disorder slash bulimia. Um, and I came across a YouTube video from a, a guy, I don't remember his name, but he was talking about this book and how he had binge eating disorder and maybe bulimia or binge eating disorder slash bulimia, I don't remember, but he had what I had and he recommended this book and so the book was called Brain Over Binge and so I was like, okay, like I've tried so many things, I haven't tried this, I'll just try it and he said like the book completely changed his life and it totally reversed his eating disorder and it cured him. So I ordered the book and this is the book. It's called Brain Over Binge and this is the recovery guide. There's one that's just a book. This one it's like you can like write in it and stuff. I don't know. But it's like a I mean it's literally a guide like you can like write along with it. Ask you questions whatever. But it's by Katherine Hansen. I don't know. Yeah. Um, and this book totally changed my life. I did not think it would, but it did. And this, I, anyone going through binge eating disorder or bulimia, like 10 out of 10 would recommend this book. I have never read anything like this. Like, I won't like go into detail about the book, but I think if you are struggling with that, please get this book. I cannot express enough how badly I wish I had this book so much longer, so long ago. I wish I had gotten this book earlier because this book just like, it's unreal how the perspective it puts binge eating disorder in it's crazy like the author of this book is so incredibly talented and has cured so many so many girls or guys but yes this book was the main cure for me but not only that but i recently this was about a year into my eating disorder but also with that book so I was I would say I was like pretty much healed or cured or recovered I guess you could say I don't really like using the word recovered and it talks about in this book a different word for recovery because it's I don't know sometimes that word is like not I don't know I just I feel like there are better words to say than recovered. That, that word is very like, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but anyways. So about a year into it, after reading the book, I felt, I just kept feeling like this urge or like feeling in my heart, like it was really laying on my heart that I would need to tell someone about what I was going through or, or kind of still going through was still going through because my parents didn't know about it like nobody none of my no one knew about it I mean I I have seven best friends or six best friends but seven of us all together and um I confided in them about my binge eating disorder but that was it and by the time I had become bulimic I had not told a single person about that and for some reason it was just really really on my heart that like tell someone and I didn't I just it was such an uncomfortable situation for me it was embarrassing it was awkward it was because I was like, people are going to think I'm so weird. They're going to judge me. Like, it's so unattractive. It's just the ugliest, weirdest thing ever. And but so one night, 
after I actually had binged and like I said this book yes it did help me recover but it after reading this I still binged a couple times after but it also says in the book like that that's normal and everybody heals differently everybody recovers differently everybody like goes down their own path with this and the author said like even for herself because she did have binge eating and bulimia so she said even for herself she did binge like a couple times after putting a different perspective on the eating disorder and so one night after I had binged I was just crying I was in tears and I was just I was like freaking out because I was thinking oh my gosh like I'm going backwards I'm like I'm not I was making so much progress I thought I had recovered but then that urge to tell someone was still like coming into my head and I was like thinking okay I need to tell someone I that I need help or just confide in somebody so they can at least like be there for me and I can try to help them understand what I'm going through so I texted one of my really 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 good friends and well one of my best friends in that group of six and I just said hey I know this is super random and super you're probably going to be really weirded out but I have bulimia and I just kind of like told her everything and what was going on in my life and I said that like I was doing a lot better than I had been doing but I was still struggling and like my mindset my mental state was not where it should have been with food with my body just with everything it was still not where it should be and I was like can you just pray for me and she was like yes of course and she was so nice about it the sweetest girl so sweet about it and so this is me saying that the power of prayer is so real and so there because I can say from the bottom of my heart that ever since I texted my friend that night I have not binged I have not had an urge to binge like it has totally like disintegrated and like that just this is me saying like my full recovery was Jesus and Jesus helped me overcome my eating disorders all of them and I'm trying not to cry because it's it's it like it's the most overwhelming thing ever but so um how this leads into my health and fitness Instagram and my health and fitness my love for it is just that I from then on I was like I want to be healthy I want to be happy I want to love life again and have a stable mindset and so I did just that I researched a ton I started following on Instagram um, girls that were very inspirational to me one of them my all-time favorite Instagrammer slash youtuber is Sarah's day she lives in Australia and she's just the most motivational inspiring girl ever and she has the best YouTube videos I've watched every single one and I follow girls like her and girls that just seem to be so healthy and happy and content with themselves and with their life and um so I did that and I since then I've researched so much about food about the nutrients in food about what gives you energy and like how f you eat food to thrive and to fuel yourself and so that has just led me to where I am today I researched more about exercise and like that I tried a lot of different types of exercise and I finally found one that I love so so much and there's more about that on my Instagram I won't go into detail on that in this video but yeah so that is just where I am today 
and I can from the bottom of my heart say that I am so genuinely happy and I've never been this happy with myself with my body with my mental state and it's just like for me health and fitness is so much more than like like the effects of it is health and fitness is so much more than a pretty body or being shredded or just looking good I it's the mindset that I have now with knowing so much about health and fitness like it's incredible like it's just so awesome and I love it so much and I can genuinely truly say that that is my passion and I am so so passionate about it I want to just like share with the world all that I've gone through and just how much I love it and so another thing I just last thing I want to add is that I'm as crazy as it sounds I genuinely am so so grateful for what I've gone through with my eating disorders because without those I would not be who I am today and I think it is so good for you to love yourself and not in a cocky way and I know that sounds really cliche and just very like ugh, like kind of gross but love yourself and I'm finally to that point where I do love myself and I treat my body like I love it I fuel it with the right foods I nourish it I eat to thrive I exercise to make myself stronger and I do have indulgences in moderation and I don't freak out about it I just eat intuitively I enjoy life I I'm so content in life and so yeah that is my story and I hope that that inspires people and maybe helps at least one person and I just hope that you that anyone watching this kind of understands more about me and who I am and just me as a person and once again knows that like I do have a background with hardships and like it has not been an easy stroll in the park for me to get to where I am today not at all but this just is 